In this video, I'm going to show you how you can learn any digital skill for free without buying any course or paying anybody to coach you. Maybe you're a broke student and you can't afford online courses, but you want to learn a digital skill that you can sell as a service and make money online. I completely get it because I was once there. Learning a digital skill changed my life and can do the same for you. So whether you're looking to learn design, video editing, social media management, copywriting, or whatever the skill is, having a digital skill will help you build a career online and create one or more sustainable streams of income. So I'm going to show you websites that you can get free courses, how to access these free courses on the websites that I'll be showing you, because not all of them are obvious. And I'll also be showing you the best way that you can actually learn and achieve the outcome that you're looking for, which is monetizing your skill as quickly as possible. So stick around to the end of this video. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, it's really great to have you here. I'm Vicky Johnson, and I'm sharing my journey making a living on the internet through remote working and freelancing as a digital designer. So be sure to leave this video a like, and if you want to get notified each time I post new videos, then subscribe to the channel. So getting back into it, this is exactly how I was able to learn skills and start making money online as a student before I could even afford a paid course. And I used the skills that I learned from these courses to create services, make money, and then reinvest in paid courses to upskill. So enough of the Magana, let's get into it. The first website that I would recommend going to learn a digital skill for free is Udemy. Many people think that Udemy is only paid, but you can actually find free courses on there. I remember taking courses on logo design and WordPress design on Udemy way back in 2019. That was before I ever paid for a course on the platform and they were really good. I learned a lot from them. So just go to udemy.com in your web browser, search for the skill that you want to learn. For example, let's use logo design select the filter option and scroll down to where it says price. Check the box that says free and you'll find lots of beginner friendly courses that you can get started with. These courses also come with certifications. So they are definitely a great place to start. The next website that I'll be recommending is Coursera. And this is a platform that partners with reputable companies like Google, Meta, Microsoft and others to make their courses available globally. Many of the courses on Coursera are created by these companies. So if you're looking to work with a company like Google or Microsoft in the future, then I'll recommend taking courses on here because they prepare you for those kinds of jobs. To start learning for free on Coursera, visit the website, which is Coursera.org and search for a course that you want to learn. For example, UI UX design. You can select any of the courses that come up that look interesting to you. And now most of the courses on Coursera are subscription based, but there are two ways that you can get courses for free on here. The first way is to audit the course. Auditing simply means that you're taking the course without any of the graded assessments. And at the end of the course, you will not get a certificate, but you will still get all the learning materials and resources provided in the course for completely free. And of course, after auditing the course for free, if you ever decide that you want to come back and take the graded assessments and earn a certificate, you can just pay to do that and you'll get your certificate. But what's important for now is getting the knowledge so that you can actually have the skills to make money, to be able to afford a certificate, right? So to audit a course, just select the course and go to the course page. Select start free trial. And then at the bottom of the pop-up here, select audit this course. You'll be taken to a commitment page. Just check the box where it says, I commit to completing this course and start the course for free. The second way to get a course on Coursera for free is by applying for financial aid. So like applying for a scholarship. I personally prefer this option because it gives you full access to the course. And so you can complete all the graded assessments and get a certificate after completing the course. And Coursera offers financial aid on almost all the courses on the platform. So all you need to do is apply for the particular course that you want to take. And in most cases, within one to three weeks, you'll be granted financial aid and then you can take the course for free. So to apply on the course page, instead of clicking the start free trial, scroll down to where it says more questions. And then where it says financial aid available, click on learn more. It's actually kind of hidden because they want you to pay, obviously. Continue to the application process. 
And then you'll be asked to fill a form and tell a little bit about yourself. Just fill in why you need the course and why you need the financial aid and submit your application. And typically within one to three weeks, you'll get an email to enroll in the course for free. I've applied for financial aid on Coursera on about four different courses and I got all of them. So in most cases, I think you'll get it if you apply. Now, the third website I'm recommending is edX. It's another platform that I've taken free courses that have really helped me grow in my career. It's actually a platform built by Harvard, I think. And they offer courses from top universities like Harvard, MIT, Berkeley, and others. So these are the courses that are actually offered in these universities. They just record their classes and then upload them to the platform for you and I to access for free. It's actually very interesting to know that the same knowledge being taught in these top universities that many of us once aspired to go to is available to us for free online. You literally have no reason to be uneducated in this digital age. Anyway, you can audit most of their courses for free, but you don't get a certificate unless you pay. I have some courses that I completed years ago on edX, and I'm still planning to go back and pay for the certification so that I can show it off. But the important thing for now is that I have the knowledge and it has significantly improved my life. Oh, and I remember enrolling in a course to learn Spanish in 2020. I never completed it, but at least now I can say, yo habla un poco de español. Find out what it means. Moving on, the next website I'm recommending is Envato Tots or Envato Toots. Envato Tots. I don't know. Isha. This is Envato's free learning platform for creative and technical digital skills. They offer tutorials on design, photo editing, video editing, coding, and even music and business. So check out the website on tootplus.com if you're looking for quick tutorials on creative and technical digital skills that you can learn sharp sharp. The next website on my recommendations list is Skillshare. They offer a ton of courses that you can take, especially in the creative field. Now, Skillshare is a subscription-based platform, which means that you pay every month. But as the kind person that I am, I'm going to share a link with you that can get you a one-month free trial of Skillshare. So I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out. And if you're going to use Skillshare on the one-month free trial, then I recommend that you pick out the course that you want to learn before activating your trial. So that when you start the trial, you are ready, set, go. You can complete the course within one month and cancel your free trial before the one month elapses and you have to pay. Smart. We are Nigerians. We're smart. And within that one month, if you complete the course, you get your certificates for free and cancel the subscription before the free trial is over. Link is in the description. You're welcome. Now, the final platform that I'm going to be learning uh, I'm going to be learning. Now the, <laughs> now, the final platform that I'm going to be recommending that you can learn digital skills for free is YouTube. Mm -hmm. YouTube is the largest learning resource in the world and it's completely free. The only downside is that it's not structured and it will take you a longer period of time to learn a skill on YouTube than it will if you are taking a structured course. But still, it can be a very good option if you don't have money for a structured course because it's better to take your time and learn a skill on YouTube than to learn no skill at all and just be there, broke. So just search beginner's guide to putting the skill you want to learn and you'll see a ton of videos that are willingly offering you free tutorials that will help you learn that skill. So for example, you can search for beginner's guide to logo design or beginner's guide to UI UX or beginner's guide to copywriting and you'll find a lot of free resources on YouTube. I built my first ever website following a step-by-step -step tutorial on YouTube, and now I'm a website designer. That's my job. How sick is that? Learning a skill online is not as complicated as people make it out to be. Honestly, just pick a skill, pick a course on any of these platforms, and start learning. Within no time, you'll be a master in that skill, charging thousands of dollars on the internet for your work. Now, let me share some tips that would help you to monetize your skill as quickly as possible after taking a free course. Tip number one is to choose just one skill to start with. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when trying to learn a digital skill is jumping from one skill to the other. And I'm a little bit guilty of this because when I first started, I wasn't quite focused on just one thing. I was a little here and there. But after a while, I soon realized that, you know what? Being a jack of all trades is not actually the best route that you can go. 
So it's better to focus on one skill first, become good at that skill to a point that you can monetize it. Then you can branch out into other things and learn other things. But first, you don't want to be broke and chasing different skills. That's why people come online and say, oh, all these online things, they don't work. They don't work. How do they work when you're trying to do all at the same time as a broke person? Oh, King Farah Bale. Anyway, if I could go back in time and change just one thing in my journey online, I think from the very beginning, I would have stuck with design because I was distracted instead of focusing on the thing that I knew I really wanted to do and I really wanted to learn and monetize. So yeah, and honestly, I, I'm talking too much, but I think it's a problem that a lot of people have. Today, you ask this person, what are you learning? They'll say web design. Tomorrow is copywriting. Next tomorrow is coding or programming. Can you pick something, sir, and stick with it? At least stick with it till you see results before you now start jumping from the last post. Tip number two, learn by doing. See, when you first start taking that course, that free course, have a goal. Don't just binge watch it and do assignments, do multi-choice assessments, and that's all. Have a goal. For example, I told you that when I took um, the first tutorial I watched on YouTube on building a website, I actually built the website alongside the tutor. That is what you need to do. If you are serious about learning a skill and becoming good at that skill, you have to actually do the skill as you are learning it. Else, it won't stick. That's how your mind works. Things that you do stick to your mind, not things that you just hear someone saying over a video or things that you cram for an assessment. So your goal might be to, if you're a social media manager, design 10 social media posts while taking this course. Or if you're learning web design, Design a website, use Figma or any no-code tool. Whatever your skill is, create something. By the end of your course, you should have created something. And you will even use that something in your portfolio. So it's not wasted effort, trust me. Tip number three is to join online communities early. Find people who are learning the same skills as you. You can join Facebook groups, Telegram groups, Discord servers, even WhatsApp groups that are filled with people who are learning or are already good at the skill that you're trying to learn. Communities like this are great for asking questions when you get stuck, because you will get stuck. And one thing that makes a lot of people to give up on courses or give up on skill building when they start is that they got stuck and they didn't have a way out. So joining communities will actually push you to complete what you started because there will always be somebody to guide you. People are always willing to help in these kinds of communities, trust me. And you also find free resources that can help you speed up your learning in communities like this. Who knows, you may even get your first paid gig from one of such communities. I've been in WhatsApp groups where experienced designers would need somebody to assist them on like a project and they'll hire a designer who is still learning who just joined the community to get like advice or something and they get to use the project in their portfolio and also get paid for it so communities are really really helpful don't sleep on them and my fourth tip and i know that a lot of people will not agree with this but it actually works is to offer your skill for free or at a low price for your first couple of projects so instead of waiting for six months to get that client that will trust you to handle their project as like the first real project you're doing, why not offer it to someone or a business for free or just put a small price on it so that they have nothing to lose hiring you. But at the same time, you get to work on a real life project, build confidence, create work, real life work for your portfolio. And then when you've done this like two or three times, you are ready to take on actual projects that you can charge decently for. Stop squeezing your face. This advice, I advise you. You don't have to take it. I ask my, my fifth and final tip is to keep learning and improving your skill. The digital world changes so fast. So you actually need to keep learning. Follow industry blogs. Subscribe to YouTube channels that post content related to your skills. Sign up to newsletters and just make sure that you stay updated on industry trends, especially if you're in the design space. If you don't, a few years will pass and you realize that you have been left behind. So you want to keep learning, keep taking new courses. The moment you can afford a paid course, go for it because trust me, the value you will get from a free course will get you paid. But the value you will get from a paid course will keep you paid well. So make sure that as soon as you're monetizing, you're reinvesting in paid courses and upskilling. And most importantly, don't give up too soon. For those of you that any small challenge, you have given up, you have dropped the course, you didn't complete it. 
and say, oh, this maybe it's not for me. Of course, it's not for you because you are. it is for you if you stick to it for long enough. Mastering a skill takes time and consistency. And if you stay consistent, you will definitely get there. All right, that's it for this video. If you found the video helpful, then leave it a like and subscribe for more content like this. And let me know in the comments what skill you're interested in learning or you're already learning. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Find people who are learning the same skills as you. As you. I should just end it here. The video is already getting too long. <laughs> Tip number one is to choose just one skill to start with. Let me pause this video. Hey, it's for it.